What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dev, aka W. Devonair, and this is the Devonair Lifestyle. And in today's video, we're going to go over my 10 New Year resolution ideas for 2022. Let's get started. So, number one being, I want to focus on my health and not just my physical, but my mental. Um, that's been a real big thing for me the past few years. It's just trying to get my health right. Uh, you may not know this, of course you don't know this, but I suffer from a heart condition. I can't think of the word or what it's actually called, but I had a heart condition when I was younger, maybe like a year and a half going on two, and uh, I had to have heart surgery in order to fix my veins, like my pulmonary veins. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. But uh, I haven't been taking that as serious as I need to, especially in my early 30s. Um, I need to do a better job at that. So I want to work on my health, but my mental health as well. I plan on attending therapy, not because I'm crazy, not because I'm losing it, but I just want to be together all the way. So my mental health is very important to me, but along with that, my physical health as well. I'm in decent shape. Uh, you know, I don't play any professional sports, but I do like to keep a good physical build. So I work out maybe three to four times out the week, but I want to do a better job at that. So my health is very important. So that's number one on my list for my New Year's resolution. Number two on my list is being better. And what that means to me is just being a better person overall. I want to be a better father, be a better husband, be a better son, be a better brother. Just being better to the people that mean the most to me. I feel like I've been doing a good job, but I need to do a better job. I just feel like as we get older, we kind of just focus on ourselves and our in-house, and we forget about the people outside of that because we may no longer live at home with our parents or even our siblings. So you kind of live in your own little bubble when in actuality, they still a part of that bubble. So I just want to be better as a person and better to the people that mean a lot to me. Number three, I want to be disciplined and focused. Those are areas I don't feel like I lack in, but I'm not committed and dedicated enough as I need to be. I feel like when I'm fully focused on anything that I want to do, I become the best at it. And even when I'm disciplined, I know the rights and wrongs of what I'm doing, and I know how to just be where I need to be. No outside distractions, no getting off tasks. I'm just, I'm locked in, and I need to do a better job at that. Number four on my list is I want to take more chances, take more risks. I feel like I've been playing it safe for a very long time and I need to get out the habit of doing that. I think when you take risks, the bigger the reward, as they say, right? And at number five, I plan on becoming selfish. And I know that sounds so crazy, but just hear me out. I feel like I've been very accessible for others for many, many of years, starting back to high school when I just wanted to do everything with my friends, for my friends, used to put all my ideas and everything on the back burner for others. And doing that really has gotten me nowhere. I've just been in the same boat with the same people, not doing nothing. It's time for me to be selfish with me. So anything that I want to do, I plan on doing it. And I'm not waiting for others. I'm not waiting for permission. I'm not waiting for a yes or maybe. No, it's happening because I want it to happen. So I'm about to be selfish with myself. And then number six, I plan on traveling. I haven't been anywhere in years, especially due to the pandemic that's taken place these last two years. It's just kept everybody on lockdown. And I still take it serious if COVID is not something. Can I say COVID in my video? Let's get to number seven, which is my baby, my pride and joy. And I'm not talking about my kids. Love them though. But I'm not talking about y'all right now. I'm talking about my brand, which is the debonair lifestyle. I've been working on this idea for years now, and I just finally feel confident to share it with the world. So my brand is my baby, and uh, 2022 is going to be a good year, a great year, an amazing year for the debonair lifestyle. And I'm glad to share it with you guys, and hopefully y'all support it, y'all rock with it, and y'all be a part of it as well. And at number eight, I plan on being more creative. And what I mean by that is, I plan on to stop slacking and stop half-assing on these projects that I'm working on. And I'm gonna give it a full 100% on everything I do. So y'all gonna get the effects, y'all gonna get 
I don't know if it was more than effects, but y'all gonna get it all. It's no more slacking. The ideas that I have stored in my head on um, paperwork that's just laying around my house that pisses my wife off to the fullest will finally make sense, come true. And at number nine, my time management skills will become way better than they have ever been in my whole entire life. Because right now, it sucks. I'm not even gonna lie, it sucks. I just don't pay attention to time as much as I need to, and it just slips away. And when it gets too dark, I don't wanna do something. When it's too early, I don't wake up. I just bullshit. I'm not a bullshitter, but I be bullshitting sometimes. And I'm fixing that. I'm correcting that in 2022. So time management will become a priority. And finally, at number 10, drum roll, please. I plan on reading one book a month. I'm sorry to hit y'all with a boring final resolution, but that's my last resolution. I want to read. I have not read a book since high school. My senior year of high school, and that was in 07. It's a long ass time. Sorry, y'all, but I want to read more. That's, that's on my list. Don't judge me. Whatever. All right, y'all, that's it. I'm going to get up out of here. My hands are freezing. It is cold as hell outside, but I did this for you guys. So with me doing that, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, but most importantly, hit that subscribe button. And I hope my list of New Year resolutions was entertaining, more importantly, helpful, and gave y'all some ideas that maybe y'all can use this year. But anyway, I'm out. Once again, my name is Dev, aka Debbie Debonair. This is Debonair Lifestyle. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.